questions from the floor for Tan Sri. Uh, thanks, Tan Sri. Uh, I guess this is the third time I heard about Big Talk. Um, I've invited Tan Sri to speak to our students at our university some couple of months ago. And my, my questions that I just got inspired this morning is, uh, besides passion, what would be the next thing that uh, helped you on uh, to what you are today? Of course, uh, passion is one thing that I've uh, been uh, holding on until today, but uh, 19 years, uh <coughs> you know, sometimes you feel very sad uh, when you hear children who come and tell you uh, when they have an assignment to say that, you know, your holiday with your father. And my, my, one of my children tell me, you know, I don't even, cannot even write. Where did I went last time on a holiday with them? It's such a post, uh, such a sad state to hear your own children telling that in the school, Karangan, that the subject is a holiday with your father. And he do, she don't have a subject to write. It hurts me. It hurts me after 19 years, 20 years. So I told myself, there's a more, more dream for me to go beside the museum. Museum, I hope Dr. Sri Vincent will build a museum for me. Huh? So my dream is to take my family. They can't remember. When was the last time I took them? But maybe Bali, eh? right? They, she wants to go to France now. Wow, France. I, I want to tell you at my age, uh, I don't mind to tell you, this story is true tale. I have never been to Europe until today. You know. Australia, I was lucky because I was the governor of Lions Club. That's one of the convention there. My business friend, uh, he said, you never been to Australia, London, and all this. No? Even yes, last week in a golf club, I buy you a ticket, you go. First class, whatever you want. Go, la, for heaven's sake. So the next part of my life, I've gone through, you tell me. I want to take my children for holiday. I want to take my wife. I haven't been Korea, China, every, uh, Korea, Japan, everybody is talking about Korea, Japan. You know when's the last time I've gone to Korea and Japan? 1985. 1985, imagine, crazy. You know, this Danny Wu doing beauty pageant and still never gone to Korea and Japan, 1985. The only time I went there, 1985, was my first honeymoon my wife. That's my eldest daughter sitting down there. Was, uh, there I make babies from there. Uh. <laughs> uh, Jillian, uh. Uh, so that's Jillian sitting down there. All right. My eldest daughter, 28 years old, never believed in my dream. 29 area. <laughs> never believed in my dream. Huh? But I think she soon be. Like today, after you listen what your daddy thought, both of them are very young. St uh, one is in the college, one is still studying. So you see, the daddy what speak to 100 old people. This is a true story. Today, their children, their, their handphone drop also. Never mind, tomorrow papa will buy. The, the value is no more there. But what have gone through? We play rubber band, we play tongkat tong, what, uh, all this. Today I'm so lucky. But the value. So I want to do next, uh, the passion, the dream. Uh, uh, our millionaire friend here, buy me a ticket, la, please. <laughs> or you go to London, I just take a trip. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I hope I answer your question. Anyone? Just one or two questions that I take. One question at the back. Yeah. Hi, morning. Um, thank you very much for the inspiring um, uh, talk today. I just have something in mind that um, uh, I just, with your success today, your status and everything, how do you manage the work-life balance? Because a lot of people, they say, in order to dream and build your empire, to be successful, either to become politician or, or to have a good business and all that, you have to sacrifice your family time, personal time. So how do you manage that? Thank you. Thank you. Lucky thing today, I have one inspiration. That is Tun Mahade. Tun Mahade is 89 years old. Huh? I still have a lot of time, so don't worry. But I like to get rid of all this uh, and spend my next part of my time. But I have the time. So I have this passion, I have this dream in me now, is to go for a tour. It could be this two years, three years, four years. Malaysia Board Record, I know now is, is stable, you know. Uh, this story tonight, today, this morning, I tell you, is not about 
from wreck to riches. Uh, I'm not rich. Uh, maybe today my pocket got a hundred dollars or not. <laughs> but I want to tell you, it is from nobody to somebody. I'm proud to say that. Today I walk out, everybody knows me. You know, I feel happy. You must leave a legacy. You need to know, create yourself. Life is about not finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. A lot of people are leaving legacy. Today in the world, you know, somebody is leaving legacy. So I hope there will be one of them. But the passion and all this is there. As long as your passion is there, your drive is there, your dreams never die. That's one thing. So I will have time. I have a lot of time, my dear. Definitely. Huh? <laughs> right. One more question. You see, uh, some why is a Malaysia board record? I don't know, somehow rather that after going through so many businesses here and there, that, you know, uh, I go into something that, uh, that I feel happy. That this, this, this dream just came 1989, launched 1995. And uh, I, I started the Malaysia board record not just because of that. So while one day when I was driving to my office in Stargazer, and then suddenly I remember there's a man cycling. Uh, to break into the world record as an Indian guy. Then it came just like that. If there is a Guinness Book of World Record, why don't Malaysia? At that time, Malaysia Bole, you know, our Tun Mahade has his Malaysia Bole about a few years before the Malaysia Bole records. So I feel that there's something that I need to do. Maybe it just came like that. And during my young time, I actually, I, even I don't study, but I like to know about world record, you know. Well, somehow, rather, during my younger days, I get a very old book of the Guinness Book of Record. And sometimes I say it's just an opportunity, sometimes it just comes out. But I want to tell you, Guinness Book of Record was uh, published in 1955. Somehow, rather, whether you believe it or not, I was born in 1955. <laughs> just to let you know. But anyway, I feel happy. Most important in this world is that you make people happy before you make yourself happy. And every time when I see children breaking record, I feel so happy. People say, are you a Malaysia Book of Record? Huh? Everybody goes, no, you try yourself. Try to get yourself into the Malaysia Book of Record and see whether it's easy or not. You know, when you have 4,000 people doing uh, a teamwork doing the longest kick, uh, 300 meters, you think it's easy? It's not easy. But everyone can be a record holder if you have this passion, your vision, anything, can, you can create a record, doesn't matter. You know, so I choose Malaysia Book today. Although this uh, Malaysia board record had nearly go, uh, made me into bankruptcy, but I stay on. I'm happy today. I work with the three governments. I got my Tan Sri also because of Malaysia board record. I got my Dato Shi also because of Malaysia. Nothing else, not because of other things, but it's a passion. But I think uh, this will. And Malaysia board record, I want to tell you, even though one day I'm not around, it will still carry on. It become a legacy. It become a project because somebody got to take over. You know. Definitely, this is uh, what I'm planning. But these two years is a very important year for me after you see what I've done. A person who has not gone to Europe, a person who has not gone to, to Korea and Japan since 1985, even my children has gone a few times already. You know? Uh, a person who has not gone to all these places. So I think I need to take them you know, uh, together. But Malaysia Board Record will live on forever because the dream of the museum will definitely be there. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah? Ah. Just now, you all have already given me a challenge. You all say, yes! I think so. La. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think so. Uh, uh. So, I believe uh, two years I want to materialize this. I'm, you see, not necessary for me to take out 30 million from my pocket. Uh, Sometimes you make good use. Prime Minister pressed the bell that, that day in April when he launched the book. I saw so many Tansri looking at the Prime Minister pressing the bell. There's opportunity, <laughs> la, you know? Uh, no, but the Prime Minister already said, this is a living museum. This is a good project. It's for the nation. All right? It's for the nation. He has said this. So I believe... And I also believe that this is a very good pro. Uh, it makes people proud. It's the home of the record holders. You all, all of you will belong, the Malaysia Board Record will belong to all Malaysians because this is your country museum of achievers. I will definitely, maybe two years. Okay? If not two years, three years. Eh? Well, not more than that.
definitely before 2020, as you say, it's six years, but I think within these two, three years, uh, there are some uh, signs coming in. After, uh, thank God, Prime Minister pressed the bell. I'm very happy. I won't be able to build it, but uh, people will build it. <laughs> uh, thank you so very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Grab a book, please. Outside, uh, it's only 18. Thank you, Tansri, for the insightful and inspiring session. I believe all of us here have received a huge boost in motivation after listening to his enriching talk.